I uh, I would classify myself as a bird photographer. I actually started photography in high school. I started when I was second year in the seminary. Don't worry, I got kicked out of the seminary. I'm not satisfied with just seeing it or uh, taking documentary, you know, shots of it. I prefer to be able to take, uh, you know, a really good picture with uh, lots of details. I think bird photographers are mostly like that. You know. Bird photography is definitely uh, a passion. You've got to be a little bit <laughs> crazy to go into it because uh, it takes a lot of financial resources, it takes a lot of time and, and, and patience to be able to capture some beautiful images of birds. If you do bird photography, uh, I think it's very essential that you be a good bird watcher, meaning to say, you know, the birding, birding basics. Uh, I think if, if you also want to be a good bird photographer, you have to master your equipment. Uh, that's essential. One thing that's uh, challenging about bird photography is that uh, you cannot have the shot you want uh, all the time. Our way out of it is uh, just to take bursts of shots. So we take hundreds and hundreds of shots and uh, hope that uh, one of them would turn out, you know, nicely. You have to have a, a genuine affection for your subject. Uh, I think that that's very important. Uh, I find some birders as just considering birds as a subject, you know. Uh, but I think if you don't have a, a, a genuine affection as a human being uh, to our avian friends, as part of our environment and what's their role in that environment, I think uh, you're just going to be a commercial photographer. <laughs>